morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Lou Ann and welcome to my kitchen. And today's Monday, so that means another slow cooker recipe. Um, so, which is part of slow cooker palooza. Uh, just so you know, I hope I'm not repeating myself with any of these recipes. Uh, today's recipe is out of this book. So we need one tablespoon of onion salt and these are new packages um, because I kind of I didn't feel like biting and going through my med I mean herb cabinet started to say medicine cabinet so I'm gonna get these lids off and I'll be right back so we need um, a tablespoon of onion salt there's a tablespoon of onion salt we need a tablespoon of celery salt and a teaspoon of garlic salt And that is our spice robe, which I guess it could be good for anything else. So I'm going to mix these up and then we will be, I will be sprinkling it on our deer meat. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to use the same bowl um, because I'm going to, we got to mix something else up. So bear with me. Now on the recipe it says to rub it in the brisket. Um, we're not using brisket as you can tell. I'm just going to sprinkle it over and then kind of rub it in some of the meat. I'm going to turn it over and I guess this meat is somewhat frozen. I did lay it out yesterday and put it in the fridge but it didn't thaw out as much. I'm not worried too much about the seasoning so now let's get to the rest of the seasoning mix that we got to do so stay tuned so for the rest of the recipe we need a fourth a cup of smoke flavored cooking sauce which smoke flavoring let me go get the bottle so i show you what it looks like this is what i'm using the liquid smoke and then the next one, I need to add a fourth a cup of Worcester sauce, and we're going to mix that up. And of course, liquid measurements, you got to, you know, set your measuring cup on the table and with eye level and make sure. So we're going to add our Worcester sauce. And you know what we're going to do with this? We are going to pour this over our meat. And then we will turn the crock pot on low and let it cook to 8 to 10 hours. And then we will be able to slice or shred the meat. And we're supposed to serve it on rolls. Um, so I need to tell Hubby to pick up some rolls. Uh, anyway, so that is it. So let me... The next... I'll show you what it looks like after it gets done or close to getting done. So 